nigga can't tuck no jerk. Ice cream on me, make flirt. Get a wet head, switch like curry. Grab a shovel, cause my bitch you about to bury. But I can't fuck with the pussy if it is furry. Alright, what's good YouTube, bro? It's your boy Trippy Vlog here, bro, and I'm back with another video, bro. Today, this is fucking crazy, bro. So in today's video, it's all about Geneva. Like, this is not no problem with Geneva and X. This is about Geneva and her new boyfriend. So yeah, let's hop into this shit. So there's three parts to this video, because in one, I'm going to be talking about the part when she said her boyfriend is scamming her. The second part, some goofy ass niggas trying to talk to Geneva on FaceTime list so they could, like, get an X. And the third one is Geneva said her boyfriend beating her and shit. So we about to hop into this shit. I'm about to tell y'all niggas what's up. Niggas about to tell me how y'all feel about this situation, bro. So alright, let's get into this fucking video. So we gonna start off with the one, the first one that came out. So it's around I don't know when. I was I was in school. I think it's around third, fourth, fourth. Yeah, one of them. Then Geneva was like, oh don't like her snapchat you know the snapchat she used to um, send news to people like you gotta buy news her premium account so i guess rob switched the own um, password to it she was like oh 
Rob switched the account so y'all niggas don't send y'all money to whatever because he's scamming y'all whatever. Then out of nowhere, like next five to ten minutes, I believe, she posted a picture saying, if you got a credit card, if you got a card, some shit like that, like give her the card so she could like put all her money on it, that she'll break you off. Some shit like that. If I was you, I wouldn't trust that shit. Cause uh, she's known for scamming too so and she was like if y'all still want to buy news y'all should hit up her other account which y'all saw earlier in the video before this before i even started talking so yeah that's it that's basically it for the first part about her boyfriend scamming her for the money and shit so yeah let's hop into the second part all right so this is the second part of the story so some nigga named myers king myers some shit like that so I guess, I believe he did a song with X, I think, a long ago, I don't know. Like, he did a song with X, and he was like, oh, X a bitch-ass nigga, so he took X off the feature. and But he still put X name in the title, he said, oh, he gonna use that for, like, a publicity stunt or whatever. So that nigga hit Geneva up, right? Talking about, oh, he, him and her was talking, and he was like, oh, if you the real Geneva, then FaceTime me. So Geneva was like, all right, what's your number and shit, then he told her, whatever. She was like, she told him, like, from the jump don't like try to talk to her on the phone say so like so you can like screenshot it so you can show like us niggas x fans because she, she already know how we gonna react we gonna call her a hoe or whatever you, you already know how it goes so yeah she was like oh don't do that or whatever so you know what that nigga did he called her and shit that nigga and that nigga must have took a thousand screenshots bro like i think but i'm about like about like 10 minutes later that nigga posting screenshots with him and um geneva on the face so i'm talking about old oh, X, 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 something about the real story, some shit like that. But she told him from the jump, like, don't do that shit. And he still did it. Then later on, Geneva was like, oh, you a lame ass nigga. He trying to use that for publicity, son. Nobody knows about him. Like, on the phone, he was lying to Geneva, talking about, oh, he 21. Bro, that nigga is about 30 and fucking married, bro. Talking about he 21, trying to fuck with Geneva and shit. Talking about how you feel about X or whatever. Talking about how. How you like we should like make it seem like we're talking or some shit like that. Hold on, I'm gonna put that picture on the screen for y'all niggas. He was like, oh, make it seems like we're talking. Then Juno was like, nah, she can't do that because you know she and X they still got court shit. Like the case not closed yet. I believe it's not closed, so they in and out of court and shit. So she was like, oh, she can't do that because they'll call her like <laughs> off the rip. She said they'll call her off the rip. So yeah, that's basically it for that lame ass nigga, bro. Like that nigga so irrelevant, bro. I never fucking heard of that nigga a day in my life. And like, I guess he was supposed to get signed to some shit. I don't, I don't even know what the fuck. He, I don't know who the fuck gonna sign him. Like his shit. Like I ain't even listen to that nigga, bro. But I know his shit trash as fuck. You wanna know how? I know why, bro? He got like 60k followers on on Twitter. And he followed like 35,000 people. Like that's how I know you're fucking ass. Cause you basically just follow a whole bunch of people and try to unfollow them. That's how I know he's ass as fuck. But yeah, we about to hop into the third story. Alright, so this is the fucking third story where all y'all niggas was where you know, oh, did he really beat her and shit? We don't know if he really beat her, but she posted some pictures. She posted three pictures, but I'm not gonna post a third one because you know YouTube they're like sensitive as fuck. So I'm not gonna post that one. It's on my Instagram. Y'all go check it out at trippy.vibe so y'all can go see the third picture. I'm gonna probably have the two pictures in my thumbnail. Yeah. So basically she posted a picture like of her eyes, like it's kind of bruised a little bit. It's not all that from the first time when she claimed X beat her and shit. We don't know if like she's telling the truth if Rob really beat her. We don't know. We don't know about that. I think she said Rob Thomas. I forgot his last name. Rob Thomas. She was like he also hit females too. Then like a couple minutes later, he was sending videos of her sucking his dick. He had that shit all on Twitter. Then I guess he said he about to delete it because she gonna take him to court. She gonna try to make him go to jail or some shit like that. But a lot of my Instagram followers, they was like, it's karma. And I really think it's karma too, bro. Because on the real, if that nigga was being your fucking ass and you didn't turn that nigga in like you tried to do the X when you so-called claim X beat you too, why you ain't did that to Rob? Why? Like, it all, like, it basically don't adds up, but that's what she's saying. And a lot of people are like, bro, you still believe this bitch? This bitch a liar, da 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 I'm just saying, bro, like, you, you can never know if she's telling the truth. If that nigga, if Rob really be here, I don't know. Did X really be there? I don't fucking know. But she has no type of proof. And everybody's saying she a liar, da 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 da. But, yeah, that's basically it for the third one. It ain't really a long shit, because she just posted some shit. And then, one of Rob's friends, they was like, oh, 
you should stop fucking with VR niggas, whatever they know good for you. Like I believe you should stop fucking with VR niggas too. And she also claimed, she also said she might move to Cali and you should move to Cali. Geneva. Advice from Trippy. You should move to California. Go there and start a new fucking life. And she was like, oh, she started selling news for her and Rob because like basically they don't have nowhere to live. So she basically was selling news for both of them. And she told that nigga to start selling weed so he could have some money coming in too. And she could have her nude selling. So they could both have money coming in. He was like, nah, what the fuck? He ain't about to sell no weed. So I guess he wasn't on it. So I guess that's why he scammed her. I don't fucking know. Did he beat her? I don't fucking know. Y'all, it's y'all niggas to believe what y'all want to fucking believe. One thing I want to address about this shit, bro. If you, I'm not knocking her hustle or anything. Like, bro, if you, if you a real ass nigga, what the fuck? Are you paying for somebody to send you news? Somebody to send you a picture of them finger in their fucking self? You, you can go on Pornhub, go get that shit, nigga. And if you ever, bro, if you ever pay for pussy, bro, like, I cannot respect you. Like, I know it's your money and shit, but I cannot respect you, bro. You really paying for that shit. And this nigga, like, you can go on Pornhub. You can go on Google. You can do all that fucking shit, nigga. But you'd rather pay money for that shit? And I know her ass taxing, too. She probably taxed you like, a good 30 50 something like i'm not knocking her hustle bro i'm just saying how i see it because i would never a day in my life buy pussy buy no pussy pics buy no bitch finger herself like any real nigga wouldn't do that shit you must you have to be a lame ass nigga better to do that shit like real talk I did a video about them earlier like about i say a good month or two ago i might post some of it at the end of this video so y'all can hear what i said before this because yeah because they broke up before because she claimed that he scammed her before and they went back out together again so i don't fucking know if they do this shit for like a publicity stunt i don't fucking know but this shit is like confusing y'all niggas check it out i might put it in i might not i'm not for sure i'm not sure yet so yeah it's a boy trippy vibe bro and i'm out gang shit yeah but I'm really with it. You talking that shit? I send shots at your fit. I fuck all these bitches. I do not have children. I hang with the meatballs. You can get missing. My diamonds is missing. You know that I'm cool. I don't know the rule. Got kicked out of school. I, I swim in your bitch. Shit like a pool. No tool on me.